Hi, this is Kathleen from American College Strategies. I'm on the campus of St. Edwards University in Austin, Texas. In fact, right now, I am staring at the skyline of Austin. I'm about three miles from the heart of downtown and probably three and a half miles from the capital of the state of Texas. St. Edwards University was a surprise to me. I kind of didn't really know it was here. I think it's a little bit in the shadow of UT Austin, but what a beautiful campus here. This is a private liberal arts college. It is small, under 4,000 students, and this beautiful hilltop campus. In fact, that everybody knows that they're the hilltoppers. I've been walking the campus and hearing all about the great things on this campus and things that you need to know. Over a $60,000 tuition room board fees, that's called cost of attendance, but they give tremendous scholarships. So kind of take about $28,000 off that for the majority of students here on campus. It's a really good safety school for a lot of people, but don't pick something just because it's a safety school. Look at their programs. About 25% of the students here are doing business, but it's got a really large biology department and psychology and communications department. So as I was walking around campus, I always like to ask what makes this special? And I was talking to a young lady who's in her second year, she's from Houston, and she looked at lots of schools, including UT Austin. But what sold her on this was the scholarship she got, but the small closeness of the campus, the friendliness of the students that she encountered. When I asked her about academics, she told me a class she took that really epitomized what is going on here on campus. This class was called an American Experience. The young lady told me that she doesn't like memorizing facts. She wants to really get a hands-on learning experience and she's been able to get that here at St. Edwards University. So this American Experience class had students broken into groups of three and four, they became families and they became an African-American family in 1952 who was taking a trip from area A to area B, and they had to create a map of how they would get there, knowing that they couldn't stop at some restaurants, that they couldn't use the restroom in some places, and that they couldn't purchase gas at some gas stations. So that really helped her to understand what the experience was like for the African-American population here in the United States in the 1950s. And it's something she will never forget. And that's just one example of what was going on in that class. Another example of what occurs with students here is the fact that a few years ago, 10 students from here were Fulbright scholars. In fact, St. Edward's University is number one in their category in Fulbright scholars. Two other schools that are number one in their category are Harvard University and Pitzer. St. Edward's is in fabulous company. And that just is a testament to the engagement the faculty have with the success of their students. St. Edward's University is a Catholic university, but I've met students of all faiths here, but everybody is welcomed here and enjoys their time here and is learning fabulous things Everyone on campus has told me they love St. Edward's. It's really a jewel in the city of Austin. Looking for a college that's a great fit for you? From application to acceptance, we take the stress out of your search. So from St. Edward's University, this is Kathleen of American College Strategies.